What is a scientist? First, what do you think a scientist looks like? Um, he has white hair. Safety glasses. Probably a beard. They wear like a white like coat. They will obviously have a pen. Paper in their hands and clipboards and stuff. Some gloves on. With like black t-shirts and a trouser. Okay then, what do you think a scientist does? And like in a lab, test tubes and like different liquids. It would have a laser room just in case you need to use it. This like a thing when you look through it and it makes small objects look really big. They grow up like they want to be a scientist and then they keep making stuff and then they become scientists and they become famous. Make like something new. They would wake up really early, start doing work and when, as soon as they finish they have time with their family. Let's hear what the scientists have to say. What does a scientist really do? Lots of different scientists do different things, but I think all scientists are doing what they love and they're all trying to find things out, trying to understand the world. Mostly what we do is solve puzzles. Problem solving, it's, it's, a, it's a big puzzle. As scientists, we, we look for problems. We like to sort of engage with problems. Solving climate change, exploring the universe, or as we do here, protecting people from lightning. Here we specialise in lightning direct effects. The interaction of lightning with structures, so things like aeroplanes. I am a cell biologist, which is a fancy way of saying I really like looking at very small cells, so very small things that make up everything that's living. That's amazing. <laughs> I specialise in working with reptiles across the world. I spend a lot of my time in Africa and Kenya. I'm a digital engineer. Engineer, you could say a lot of the computer side of things. I make sure everything comes together in the right place and try and solve problems along the way. Why do people become scientists? You don't have to be a scientist to make a difference, but if you're the sort of person who has a scientific mind, who enjoys the scientific process, science is a great way to make the world better. Scientists are needed throughout the world to investigate about a changing climate, about the decline in animal species. All of these subjects are so rewarding, so interesting. It's the creation of something new that sort of brought me in. It's seeing something happen in front of you and seeing things come together. You should be the sort of person who looks at a phenomenon in nature and says, how does that happen? Why did that happen? When you arrive at that answer, it's a very rewarding experience and you find yourself wanting to know more. So you've caught the science bug. It's the excitement. You think I'm getting close to something and then all of a sudden the problem's solved and this lesson's learned. I always liked science, even when I was little I was really curious, but I didn't know that I wanted to become a scientist and still I, until I started working in a hospital laboratory. My specialism is lightning. I've always been fascinated by the natural effects of, uh, of electricity. It's incredibly important to be inquisitive, to question everything, to wonder about everything. What an incredibly boring world if we didn't wonder about things. And it's that wonder which drives us forward to get answers to why things are. How do you become a scientist? I think you have to be really enthusiastic. Really just take an interest in the, in the world around you. Whether it be from the cameras that are filming us now to the mobile phones that helped us meet up today. What takes your interest? What type of problems do you want to solve? Curiosity isn't unique to science, but it's um, uniquely helpful for science. So everything you do in school is, is helpful and important. Try and get as much experience doing your own science as you can. Ask questions. Why? How? What do you want to work around? Pursue the answer. If you like lots of different types of science, that's okay. Can anyone be a scientist? Do you know what? If you put your mind to it and it's really what you want to do, I truly believe you can and you can take it from me, you'll have a wonderful, wonderful career and a really interesting, brilliant life. If you've ever wondered how something works, if you like solving problems, or enjoy the thrill of discovering something new, then you're already on your way to becoming a scientist. You could be anything. You could be an engineer building new bridges, a marine biologist studying sharks, or an astronomer gazing up at the stars. So, 
What scientist will you be?